today we're going to detail the foot fracture that Richie McCaw suffered uh, just before the Rugby World Cup in 2011. Richie McCaw is an all-black legend. He's one of the all-time rugby greats, and he played through almost the entire World Cup with a foot fracture. Now, what he had was called a stress fracture of the fifth metatarsal of his foot. That's the bone that's in line with the little toe, and it's a special type of fracture that is less likely to heal. We see lots of fifth metatarsal fractures as foot and ankle orthopedic surgeons, but the majority of them are going to heal absolutely fine. Fine. Richie McCaw's type is a different one. Now this is an x-ray of a foot. We're going to mark out the big toe area on the x-ray here and further down there on the other side of the foot is where the little toe would be and the fracture is just marked here in line with the little toe at a, involving a bone known as a fifth metatarsal and the name for this fracture is actually called a Jones fracture. It's less likely to heal as I said before. Now marking the fracture out just here again for me this fracture comes with a 30% risk of not healing, known as a non-union, uh, and the return to play is shortened uh, by about four weeks if you have surgery, and so that's why Richie McCaw actually ultimately went on to have a screw inserted into his foot before the World Cup. Now, this is what it would have looked like. The fracture is still there, the screw is splinting it, and normally it's healed in about 9.6 weeks. And you can see on the X-ray on the right there, that gap is no longer there, the fracture is healed, and that occurs in about 97% of cases, so an awful lot. Now, unfortunately for Richie McCaw, his was one of the ones that didn't, and he ended up playing the World Cup with pain. And his x-ray would have looked like the one just there, with the fracture gap still there, and that only occurs in only 2.7% case, of cases that are fixed with the screw. Um, but that meant that every time he was playing a match, he had pain in his foot and he couldn't train in between. Now, following the World Cup, Richie McCaw had further surgery. The screw was removed, and he had bone taken from another place in his body and put around the fracture site. And that went very well, according to the All Blacks doctor at the time. And Richie McCaw actually went on to play more Super Rugby and ultimately another World Cup for New Zealand and was one of the most successful rugby players to uh, ever play the game. Uh, this is a fairly rare occurrence. Now, the important thing to take out of this talk is that fifth metatarsal fractures, as the one on the left, are commonly avulsion fractures or further down, and they, almost all of those will heal. But if you have one that's above that level there on the red line, they're less likely to heal, and in about 30% of cases, as is on the area on the right there, they go on to not heal, known as a non-union, and they're the ones we more look to potentially uh, provide surgery to as surgeons, and it's something to discuss with your doctor about. But look, thank, for, thank you for listening to us once again. Take a look at one of our other professional injury analysis videos, or take a look at our playlist, or alternatively, please subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Orthopedic Surgeon if you've enjoyed our videos. Thank you for listening.